Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today we're going to be looking at my very favourite deck in the expanded format at the moment. This weekend is Dallas Regionals, I am lucky enough to be there, so I thought I would go online on my stream and play a few games with the Buzzwall deck that did very well in Japan lately. Now I will pop a link to the Japanese video in the description, the one, the deck list list I did a video of. Other than that, sit down, grab yourselves a nice cold beverage, and enjoy some expanded fun from my stream. And as always, if you want to join the stream next time, go to twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. My expanded, I say mine, I totally nicked it from Japan. It all revolves around Buzzwall, I love Buzzwall, and you've got wide lens, which means you hit for weakness on the bench. So you just destroy Zorua and Zoroark decks. Yes, I know you're weak to Psychic, and it, it's probably not great against Night March, and you need to go second against Night March here. But other than that, big fan. Why don't I have an ace spec? Okay, that was dumb. It's because I took the Japanese list, and see, now I'm playing a deck that wants to go second, and I win the coin flip. What is up? What is up? Are we also playing Garbona? Alright. This is actually kind of cool in a way. Because I can basically here just get a turn one shame in for six. Or Lele for a Sycamore. And really start setting up here. Which I like. Vineyard 101. I'm glad you're back. I am glad you're back. So... Oh, oh no, wait, we're, oh, we're kind of fine. We may or may not be fine. So, what we have here is a good old-fashioned Trevenant deck. It's expanded, they play Trevenant. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and set up as well as we can here. So that, and what we really need is a, is a, a float stone. Because if we get a float stone... We can attach it to Trubbish. Next turn, we evolve into Garboda, and we're good. And we can still use our items. What we really don't want to happen... <sighs> oh, this sucks. What we really don't want to happen is this. Where we just draw nothing. So... Because we're playing against a Trevenant deck, what we really want is to go more aggressive than usual. Now, we're still going to go N, not Sycamore here, because I don't want to lose too many resources. But we just want to get rid of our items. Now, I saved a Versus Seeker. That might have been a bit dumb. I feel like that was a bit of a misplay. Having said that, we just cannot catch a break here. We have no draw supporter, so we're going to have to Versus Seeker for our end back. We don't hit any of our Max Elixir, which we desperately need. We don't hit Floatstone, which we desperately need. Now, there was an argument to Tapu Lele for a Karina for a Floatstone, but my hand wasn't really good enough to justify doing that. Hello to the person in DC. Hello from Perth, Scotland. Eugenio the Cool, glad you're here. Okay, this game's gonna suck. Yeah. I hate playing against Trevenant. Now, there is one saving grace here. And that is the fact that I have a Guzma. So I can get around the Bursting Balloon. The bad news is I'm really just not advancing my board state terribly well. You notice I didn't even play any item cards there. So, his Bursting Balloons are going to suck. And I don't have a Garboda at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Now we can work with this. So now we can draw a couple extra cards with Scorched Earth. That was not helpful. Oh. Now my opponent has not played a support yet. So we're definitely not going to end. What we're going to do... I don't love this, but let's just grab some stuff. So, it's not an ideal situation, but...
But we can still start spreading, spreading some damage around, which is nice. And we've got the float stone. So and it, it's asking a lot. It really is asking a lot. <coughs> but... Okay. I know we're taking the damage here. But actually, it's not the worst thing ever. Now, the reason I used Ascension there uh, was because if I use Knuckle Impact, I've got to retreat next turn to attack. Now I can KO this Trevenant, and then hopefully I can have a turn to attack. That's the goal. Oh, this is awkward. I hate playing against Trevenant. And like, again, who's want, who thinks a fun evening is sitting at home being like, I'm going to play Trevenant? No! Oh, if he hits Crushing Hammer as well, that would suck. Okay. Okay, we survived. It's not ideal, but we survived. So now... Oh, they scooped. Ha! They didn't have a Trubbish, which means all they had next turn was a Shaman, which means I was going up by four prizes in your face, Trevenant. So let's go to our expanded Boswell. We need to cut something. What's the least useful thing in here? No, we're going to add to two wide lens because the Japanese list played two wide lens. And if we put in a computer search, we can search for a wide lens. So, yeah, let's go put an A spec in the deck. And, I mean, it's got to be computer search. I am slightly tempted, slightly tempted here to go scramble switch because with scramble switch, you can. You know, you can switch from one Boswell to another, but I do think you need to go for it. Yeah, we're going to be playing Overwatch again soon. My kind of list of games to stri There we go, see? When I play Boswell, I win the coin flip. When I play a deck that really wants to go first, I lose. You've seen it every game so far today. 100% success rate, if you can call it that. Uh, we are going to be playing Overwatch, PUBG, Mario Kart, and Pokémon Tournament. They're like the next ones up. That's what's on. Uh, now, next week, we're going to be doing a... We're going to be doing a PTCGO stream. Oh, for goodness sake. What? This is the wrong deck. This is not the deck I want to play. That's not my Buzzwall deck. I don't want to play with my non-Buzzwall deck. Ah, oh, I clicked Buzzwall Garb. Well, I meant to click Buzzwall Expanded. Yeah, please subscribe to Wossy Plays on YouTube. I just uploaded a new Overwatch video today. It's pretty sweet. Expanded format is black and white on. Ah, oh, Sjord, sorry, dude. Evening, Rocky Panther. How you doing, sir? Or ma'am? When is the Pokémon stream? Probably after Dallas. Because I think I'm going to spend... See? Every time I play Boswell. Every time. <laughs> um, I think when I'm on kind of the plane and in Dallas, my plan is to kind of play a rather large amount of Buzzwall. Not Buzzwall, sorry, Pokémon Tournament while I'm away. So I can kind of get my skills hopefully up a little bit and then we'll stream afterwards. We're going to do a Mario Kart stream on Tuesday, a PTC Joe stream on Monday. And my wife's working all weekend, but I'm also super busy all weekend. So I don't know if I'm going to have time, but I'm certainly going to give it a go. Okay, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is a fairly nice opening hand. So we can go nest ball here. What? Oh, and he started shaming, that's big. We need, and I mean need, to be getting this out here. So, Max Elixir, failed. It really does seem to be one of those days today where we're just not hitting. And this happened like, seems to happen every stream. There we get a float stone. Now, come on, Max Elixir. Oh, come on, you suck. And we've actually got rid of our only energy so far. Now, to be fair, we are only playing 
a single... We're only playing nine basic energy, and we did get rid of one with Scorched Earth. But even with eight energy in the discard, we would expect to hit one. The good news is here that I got my strong energy, I got my Trubbish with a Float Stone, so I can start next turn, really, I can start blocking abilities, and just going nuts. Now, there is every possibility my opponent goes off, these Turtonator Volcanian decks can go off, and to be honest, no, but winning a coin flip is a bit of a weird one, to be perfectly honest, because, what, what, why? Play the Lele to the bench. That seems a bit strange. Okay, so my opponent's actually had a pretty good opening hand as it happens. Because I'm not getting a KO yet. If I'd have hit Max Elixir, I could do. But I'm not getting a KO yet. Good news is, he's only doing 50 damage. So I'm not... If uh, It's not the end. Of, I mean, to be honest, he keeps playing Shaman. And those Shaman are going to be easy to KO. Oh my goodness. Come on! This, this started off as an alright turn, and he's just... He's going nuts! Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! He's now got steam up for 80 on turn 1. Oh, sorry, power heater for 80. After I missed 2 max elixir. And, of course, he gets to attach... This is... Oh, I'm going to lose this game again. Because I just can't hit anything. Ever! Oh, I'm salty, ladies and gentlemen. The salt is coming out today. Right. So first things first, let's get a field blower out. Now, the other thing is, I what do I really want with a computer search here? I'm not 100% sure. There's nothing I'm desperate for right now, except max elixirs, which I don't think I'm going to hit anyway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play the end. And try and reset a bit. That first Boswell is going down. But to be honest, it might not be the worst thing ever. Okay. I need to hit a Max Elixir here. Because I've already whiffed two out of two. There we go. See, now we're not doing too bad. Because now we can start spreading a bit of damage around. Now we don't need to do... F oh, do we need to do 30 there? No, because we need one strong energy for the KO. So we're not too worried, to be honest. So I think, to be honest, what we might start doing is just working on a Shaman. Because we just, with one strong energy or a muscle band, we're just getting the KO anyway. So my opponent can get a KO here. I'd like to think they won't, but it's possible. And then... Although, to be honest, I'd need a muscle band strong energy to get a KO just on that Volcanian, to be honest. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we're not out of it. See, again, this Boswell deck's kind of an odd one. Okay, so we really, really now want a Guzma. But we've already... No, we haven't played our Lele. And we definitely don't need an Enhanced Hammer. Uh, we kind of do need all the energy we, we've got here. So, <coughs> we can Lele here for a Guzma and get a big KO. So, let's do that. Because against these kind of Volcanian decks, what you really want to do is chase the energy. So, we can play the Lele down. Yes, I would like to search for a Supporter card. And I would like to grab a Guzma. Apparently, I've got... Two and the other one's prized. But maybe I'll draw it off this. Oh, we got Versus Seek. Of course we do. So, now we can Guzma up the one we're actually worried about. Now we can put up that Boswell. And we have the strong energy. So now we're hitting 180. And we're feeling alright about this. Oh, I did not need the strong energy. Because Absorption. Absorption easily did enough KO. Enough to KO. But I'm using Absorption because Knuckle Impact should be enough to get a KO next turn on something. And I, I hate using Jet Punch and then being stuck. Oh, so we did have an Energy Prize. That might have been why. So, in Soviet Scholar, Max Elixir plays you. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, he's gone Terminator on us. 
This is awkward. Because if he's got a choice band or a steam up, he's got the KO with Bright Flame. Oh, so he needs a choice band here. No choice band, no KO. That's a weird one. Although, to be honest, look how me I mean, he's running through his deck. And I've said many a time that I am a huge fan of, um... Oh, that's an interesting one, though. Because I'm not getting a KO here yet. Huh. That's kind of a fun one. Because I'm only hitting 180 with Knuckle Impact. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm going to get the KO and then I'm going to shame in for the win. But I really want to not have to use another strong energy. So, wait, why have I not been turning his abilities off? I feel like I've had many opportunities to turn off his abilities. So, wait, are, are my Garboda both prized or did I discard? Okay, so my Garboda are both prized. So I couldn't have turned off his abilities if I'd wanted to, which is kind of annoying. Never mind. We're going to shame in because we're ahead on prizes here. It's I want to get. Uh, oh, oh, yes. There we go. That's the ticket. See, now we can go and get ourselves a muscle band. Wait, is that? OK. OK. Thank goodness. So now. Knuckle Impact is hitting 200 and will get a KO. Which means I don't need to put an energy on the active Buzzwall. Which means I can put a second energy onto my benched Buzzwall. Which at this stage basically guarantees me the game. Now he could end me and I might draw nothing. It's a risk. I've used a bunch of consistency cards. But as it stands at the moment... I'm feeling quite good about myself. So we had some very dodgy turns early on, as you tend to do. When I'm whiffing max elixirs and my opponent's getting set up beautifully. Okay, was that like free energy prize? Because that might explain the max elixirs. Um, but you know, when it's early game, and this is what this Boswell deck does. This Boswell deck is designed to smash Zoroark. That's what it does. It is not designed... To necessarily beat things like Volcanian Turtonator. And when it won in Japan, it really won on the strength of its Volcanian matchup. Also, does that mean that both my last two... It's got to be an N, you got to think. If he's got an N in his discard. Which he doesn't! I mean, I don't care. I don't care. Unless he plays Enhanced Hammer, don't care. I've got the win next turn. I just attach an energy to my Buzzwall and then KO a Shaman and I win. He can't KO both of these. His deck doesn't do bench damage. But yeah, I mean, this deck is not really necessarily designed to beat stuff like Trevenant, like Volcanian Turtonator. Now, clearly it did in both turns and that's good. But th this is my pick for Dallas. And to be honest, if I upload this to YouTube, which I'm probably going to, in fact, I definitely will, then oh, I'm an idiot! I don't have anything I can retreat. Which is very... Oh, okay. Whew. That was almost an incredibly dumb play. We saved it. But <laughs> that almost went really badly. <laughs> I mean, we are playing like free flowstone, and this is the reason we play Scorched Earth rather than playing something like Brooklet Hill here. But that was a dumb play. <laughs> oh, we, we, we have fun I enjoy these streams <laughs> oh oh not loving this now maybe maybe my opponent is going to put 17 Pokemon in the discard turn one. That'd be cool. But, like, even here, what do I do? Like, oh, and he's probably playing Boswell Garb. 
I, I mean, the VG content's an odd one, right? Because I did my Landorus video, the most popular video I've done so far. And then I did my Tapu Lele video, the least popular VG video I've done so far. <laughs> it's funny how they go. All right, so. Now, this is actually kind of nice because I also get to discard a card. Oh, my goodness. So let's float stone that, float stone that, and shame in for free. Could be worse. I mean, from that opening hand, that wasn't bad. And now I get an energy. And now I can get rid of both of these. What support? It? Okay, my opponent Bridgeted. And my Lele's prized. So, just to confirm, Lele prized. And started Oracorio. Shame in. Wait, 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 wait. I still don't have a supporter. I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. I, I literally have nothing. I don't have any way. I st I'd used my shame in. My, um, my Lele's prized. Might as well get a second Buzzwall. Good news is I can top deck an energy to use Scorched Earth. And I'm, you know, doing damage. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to jet punch one of the ones that doesn't have energy on. Because what this basically does to my opponent is say, look, you've got two choices. Either you evolve this one or I KO it with jet punch. Or you evolve this one. Okay, there we go. There we go. Because this one I can KO, but this one's got the energy on. You want to evolve this one. Oh, my goodness. That is a hat. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I'm only playing free Floatstone. And I had to use two of my Floatstone early. So, probably fair to say, I am going to struggle with Floatstone this game. Because that's my last Floatstone. <laughs> and I had to put these two on so I could shame in. <laughs> 100 viewers, yay! All right, let's do what we always do when we hit 100 viewers. Tell me whereabouts you are in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what time zone you are in. I would like to know. Where are you in the world? What time zone are you in? That is information I am personally rather keen to find out. Alrighty then. So, let's max Elixir. See if we can get luckier this time. And we can. See, with, with Boswell decks at the moment, it's kind of one of those, if you hit all of your max Elixir, you just crush. Like, if you hit all of your max Elixir, you're just in a phenomenal position. Because... You're just, well, you've got all you need. You get all your energy down. Buzzwall with free energy on is a truly terrifying prospect. How are we doing for energy? We'll play Super and we get one more energy in the discard. For the time being, all we need to do here is Jet Punch and we'll KO the Golbat on the bench. Right. Holland, Amsterdam. Hey, Sjord. I love Amsterdam. Big Amsterdam fan. Uh, Anaheim. Germany, Chicago, Detroit, just down the road, bit creepy, Washington, Cornwall, oh, Australia, Pittsburgh, Idaho, Glasgow, Germany, Ottawa, the Netherlands, Hertfordshire, Georgia, Denver, watching at work, love it, love the fact that your employer's like, I hope my, my people are working hard, no, your people are wasting their time watching Pokemon, Scotland, Malaysia, Virginia, Mexico, I was thinking about this the other day, right? And I reckon UK time, 1 or 2 a.m. is the perfect time for me to stream. Because you think 2 a.m., right? That is 9 p.m. on the East Coast and 6 p.m. on the West Coast. That is kind of sitting down in an evening kind of time. Whereas when I actually stream... Okay. Annoyingly, if I hadn't had the floatstone here, I could choice band... Strong energy KO, but it's it's not an option I've got for the time being, so let's not worry about it, shall we? Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Because if I'd have put the strong energy here, 
I could have used a Guzmo and KO'd the Boswell. But I didn't. So I can't. All right. Now, we are going to Super Odd 2 Energy back in. Now, reason is very simple. We're going to end. We don't have an N. And that is way too many... Oh. And that is way too many resources to Sycamore away. I need all my Guzmas and stuff. And it's not like as much I can do this turn. So we're going to do a big jet punch. Start putting some damage on Buzzwall. I'm not sure that was... Yeah. Because if I top deck an energy now, I can KO this with just one strong energy. Yeah, we're doing all right. Ha-ha! You take 30, but I take nothing because I've got a Garboda out. Yeah, American states are very much like European countries in that way. It's kind of a weird one. But also, a lot of people think that Europe is just one big thing. It's not. So, like, when we had all the when we had the pre-release cards that were stolen this past week, loads of people were just, you know, p putting out all this information about, ah, oh, you know, Europe. No! It's the UK! And the UK and Europe are not the same thing. So, yeah. All right, I think we're only going to get to one more viewer battle after this. So, um... Okay. Yeah. It's a shame that's 130. Because if that was 140, I could KO... I could hit someone else. Still, now we can do... Oh, no, I shouldn't... Uh, yes, I do want to play that. I'm cool with an N. Ugh. That's not much better. One saving grace is I've now got free energy on my benched Boswell. So even if my opponent is able to come and do some damage, we're going to be all right. Now, what we're basically saying to my opponent now is, look, you've got to evolve that goal on the bench. If you don't evolve that goal on the bench, then I get the KO with Jet Punch and then I can KO this with whatever. Go to your first TCG event this weekend. Usually playing VGC. I like it. Yes. Louis Givneur. You've added me to the list. That is lovely. So, yeah. Let's have a game after this. That is probably going to be all I've got time for. I mean, it might be quick. We'll see. Unfortunately, like I've said, at the moment, we're, we're juggling full-time job with YouTube channel with two uploads a day. With... Doing streams regularly, weekly podcasts. I'm a very busy boy, not to mention doing up a house and there's a baby on the way. So, you know, a little bit awkward. Yes, watching while breeding mons. That is awesome. I approve entirely. There was, um, I used to, I watched like the whole first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Just sitting there breathing. It was awesome. Oh, that's a good play. That's a very nice play. Picking up the goal bat so I can't KO it. And then KOing my Garboda. Now, five. Hmm. We're actually in a pretty good position here. Because what we do is we hit Knuckle Impact for not enough. Okay. So what are we actually hitting? We're hitting 180. Have I used my one field blower yet? Do we risk it? I think we risk it. I think we risk it. Because what I'm thinking essentially is this. If I can KO a Buzzwall and Yeah, oh, how much energy have we used actually? Oh, there's no energy in the discard. So we're gonna sycamore. Because he's got five Pokemon in the discard. So unless he evolves this and this and I don't think he's going to, then 
we can actually just use Oracorio and get the KO next turn. And that would be awesome. We're working on an Oracorio finish. So might as well play a Nest Ball. No targets, that's all right. Might as well play a Max Elixir. Yeah, that's all right. We're just really getting cards out of our hand right now. Oh, do I have an... I need to be careful. I need to not bench anything of a large retreat cost right now. Oh, I can retreat Buzzwall. Yeah, I can retreat. I can retreat. It kind of sucks, but I need the KO. And that Buzzwall isn't hitting enough damage. This, this Buzzwall is hitting enough damage. So, yeah. Had to be done. And in theory, next turn we can just win with Oracorio. What Pokemon am I breeding? At the moment, I'm trying to breed an Excadrill and a Tyranitar. They're the two I'm breeding. I want to work on a Japanese sand team. I love Excadrill. And in sand, it's super fast. And I found out the damage calculation works offline. So whenever I don't have internet access at the moment, I've just been having a lot of fun just sitting and chilling and running damage calculations. And the diff weather control, if we're expecting sand to be big in VG, which we are, I didn't have an energy on Oracorio. I should have put an energy on Oracorio. Because I cannot... Oh my goodness, that is not a good top. I might have just thrown this game away. Okay, he's not got a KO on me yet. So, if I get an energy, I win. Energy for the win, nice and simple. Not that energy! Oh, I played badly. Played badly. Now, my opponent has still got five prizes left, so... Oh, do we retreat? Do we just let him KO? I think we might just let him KO. Because he's still got five prizes remaining. This one needs one energy to get a KO on Buzzwall. Or a... No, one energy. So he needs an energy to get a KO, or, or a Corio needs an energy to win the game. I've still, in theory, got four basic energy and one strong left in my deck. Did I get my Lele yet? Did my Lele come out of prizes? Or is my Lele my last prize? Well, it's not in my discard, so it must be... I'm just going to let him KO. I just, I need an energy for the win. It's all I need. Although now, annoyingly, I don't think Oracorio is going to get the win. Because... Yeah. No, Oracorio would get the win. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. I'm being dumb. So I just need an energy now. Energy for Boswell. If I get an energy for my Boswell, I know I'm winning the game. But having said that, I'm sure I had an energy that I could have attached to Oracorio previously. And that would have won me the game. Now my Oracorio goes down. He KOs my Boswell presumably gets an energy and uses Absorption GX for the KO, one would imagine, meaning that next turn he wins the game flat out with Knuckle Impact. So as much as I wasn't taking his deck as seriously as I maybe could have done at the beginning of the game, there are regrets running around. <laughs> oh my goodness. Repeat balls. Repeat balls going away. All right. <coughs> <coughs> so if my opponent's got an energy... Ooh. I don't think that really matters. No, he's got 200 HP. With an energy, I'm doing 200. There we go. Energy and I win the game. Now, I've still got plenty of supporters left in my deck. Free Sycamore, etc. But it all comes down to the top deck. Energy, I win. No energy, I lose. 
Ho, 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 ho. Let's roll the dice. That is not funny. I have got a little bit of a cold. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sniffly today. My apologies if that is off-putting. That's so upsetting! I enter one, I draw a Lele, which does nothing! Yeah, he wins the game, ladies and gentlemen. No way he doesn't win next turn. Again, that, I don't mind that loss. That loss is fine. Because my opponent played very well, they prepared for the late game, and... I made a silly mistake. And I don't mind. I have no problem losing games like that. If my opponent plays to beat me and beats me, love it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Boswell. Slightly annoying I didn't play any Zoroark decks, but having said that, I think these videos are much more fun when they are just taken from my stream rather than manipulated all like that. And also, I mean, this deck beat Zoroark. This deck destroys Zoroark. What we saw is games against Trevenant and Turtonator. Decks that it's not necessarily supposed to be able to beat, but I hoped it proved it was pretty good anyway. Make sure that you are following on twitch.tv slash ptcgradio so you can join in on future streams. And make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, pop a comment down below, tell me what you think about this deck, and check out my video game channel, Wassy Plays. If you want to support the channel, you can do so over at Patreon patreon.com slash ptcg radio and then you get bonus pods and all that but by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio